the Council for Technical and Vocational Education, COTVET, is to develop a qualification framework for technical and vocational training in the country. Executive Director Sebastian De explains the framework will provide a clear pathway for career progression and higher education. Although technical and vocational education, TVET, has the potential of spearheading Ghana's development agenda, it appears less attention has been paid to this sector. Technical and vocational training currently enjoys low prestige among the public, and learners in such institutions are widely perceived to be dropouts or underperforming students as less at than 5% of secondary and post-secondary students enroll in TVET. Executive Director of CODVET, Sebastian De, is optimistic the introduction of qualification framework will present great prospects for learners in vocational and technical institutions. Under the TVET reform, uh, people must not necessarily go to a formal classroom setting before they build a career or before they articulate on uh, uh, certain qualifications framework and get the requisite for qualifications if they so uh, desire. He said government has entered into a public-private partnership to build the capacity of 10 technical schools and two polytechnics to enhance technical and vocational education. The infrastructure civil works are currently underway. They are going to benefit from equipment support, retooling of the higher institutions are not only going to be for their use, we are putting in the necessary programs that will make them integrate, you know, backwards. Sebastian De indicated Codvet has rolled out a series of programs to create awareness and encourage the youth, particularly females, to opt for careers in Tibet.